Uh, you may remove them for the official photo taking that will be at the end of the service. Um, please also do not cross over the zones. So people at the back, Congregation, please arise.
we shall begin this wedding service by singing our very first hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. The first stanza will be sung in English and the next two stanzas in Mandarin. The church choir has recorded the song and we will listen to it and sing in our hearts to the Lord. Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. To my heart to sing thy grace Strings of mercy never ceasing Call for souls of loudest praise Teach me song and hold me so honored Sung by faith in tongues above Praise the mountain, face the morning Let us now look to God in prayer. Loving and gracious Heavenly Father, Thou who has created the world and all that therein, Thou who has provided particularly for Tan Avon and Lim Hwasi, as they grew up in their respective homes and grown up to this stage of adulthood and marriage. We acknowledge your greatness in caring for all thy people and particularly for Yevon and Hwasi. We thank thee for giving them good health, the joy of heart, and above all, the assurance of salvation from their sins, and the knowledge that they are God's children by faith in Christ Jesus. We thank thee also for their parents who have cared for them and loved them and brought them up to this stage. We pray that this day, as all the relatives and friends gathered here, and those who are watching this wedding service online, be blessed by your great presence and work upon the souls of this couple and also in their union in holy matrimony. We call upon you, Lord, for we know that thou art gracious to bless all those who trust you and call upon you with much thanksgiving, expecting your presence and blessing upon us all and particularly upon Tan Evan and Sister Lim Hwasi as they are now coming together to make their covenant before you and be united in holy matrimony. This we pray for the glory of our God in the Lord Jesus Christ and in his name. Amen. Congregation, please be seated. Mm -hmm. 
Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together Tan Yewen and Lim Hwasi in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrote in Cana of Galilee and is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore is not by any to be taken unadvisedly, lightly, or wantonly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. Firstly, it was ordained for the procreation of children to be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord and to the praise of his holy name. It was ordained for a remedy against sin and to avoid fornication, that such persons as have not the gift of continency might marry and keep themselves undefiled members of Christ's body. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, help, comfort that one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Now I shall ask these questions to the couple and first to the groom. Tan Ewen, will thou have Lim Hwasi to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live? I will. Now to the bride. Lim Hwasi, will thou have Tan Yewen to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live. I will. Who giveth Lim Hwasi to be married to Tan Yewen? I do. Yes, you may pass the hand. Now the couple will take the wedding vows. Repeat after me, please. I, Tan Yewen. I, Tan Yewen. Take thee, Lim Hwasi. Take thee, Lim Hwasi. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part, according to, according to God's holy ordinance, God's holy ordinance, and thereto, and thereto, I pledge thee my troth, I pledge thee my troth. No. 
Now the bride will take her vow. I Lim Huasi. I Lim Huasi. Take thee, Tan Ewen. Take thee, Tan Ewen. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. And to obey. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I give thee my troth. I give thee my troth. Now the couple will exchange the wedding rings. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. With my body, with my body, I thee honor, I thee honor. And with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. With my body, with my body, I thee honor, I thee honor. And with all my worldly goods, and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow, I thee endow. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We shall now pray together. The couple will kneel down and we shall pray. Let us pray. Our eternal God, Thou who art the creator, preserver, and protector of all mankind, Thou who art the giver of all spiritual grace and the order of everlasting life, we humbly seek your blessing upon this couple, Tan Evan and Lim Huasi, whom we bless in thy name, that as Isaac and Rebekah lived faithfully together, so these persons may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant they have made and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and that they may live according to thy holy laws. This we humbly pray that thy name be glorified in and through this couple. We pray this in Jesus' blessed name. Amen. Please arise. Please join your right hands together, facing one another. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Tan Yewen and Lim Huasi 
have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this congregation, and thereto have given and pledged their troth either to other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of a ring, and by joining of hands. I pronounce that they be man and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The groom unveils the bride. Well done. <laughs> okay. We shall, as the couple, Brother Evan and Sister Hwasi, has requested, will meditate upon God's Word for the next few minutes. And they have chosen a portion of the Scripture today, which is also printed in the brochure in the inside, page 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 15. 在这几分钟, 我们来思想神的话语, I'm glad to have my friend, uh, preacher Lim Daniel, who is the preacher in our church in the Mandarin service. Well, I asked Evan and Hwasi why they chose this passage. But they did not say much. They gave me a big smile. And then I asked them, do you want me to say anything? Well, the only answer I got from them was, as the Lord guide you, Pastor. So I prayed. So here are the things that the Lord wants me to tell you. Just as it is written here in the scriptures. Well, the verse reads, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. 弟兄们,你们晓得,史提凡,一家是亚该亚出节的国子,并且他们专以服侍圣徒为念。Apostle Paul, who wrote this long letter to a church in Corinth, wanted the people in that church to particularly consider a man named Stephanus and his household. Paul understood that this man was well known in that community. In fact, not only Stephanus, everyone in that family was well known because he says, he know the house of Stephanus. Paul was not referring to the building in which they lived, the house, but rather to the family of Stephanus. 
保罗不是指到他们所住的家，而是他们一家人。Paul did not explain right here in the beginning why he was famous. 保罗没有解释为他为什么啊、呃、这一家是特别啊、呃、当时教会所认识的。But as we read the rest of that verse and the following verse, we know. Why the writer of this epistle particularly mentioned the family of Stephanus? But we read on, we know why the writer of this epistle particularly mentioned the family of Stephanus. But we read on, we know why the writer of this epistle particularly mentioned the family of Stephanus. We see the first reason as. It is the first fruits of Achaia. 原因是他们一家是亚盖亚出节的果子。Now in the Bible, first fruits is a reference to a practice existed in the life of ancient farmers. 啊，出节的果子在古时啊，他们农夫啊耕种所结的啊收结的果子。When they get the land ready for cultivation, they would normally plant seeds early in one area of that large field, and then, after a few days or a few weeks, they will plant the rest of the、uh, land with the seed. They plant seeds early in one area of that large field. And naturally, you expect those that were planted early to bear fruit early. Ah, 自然的那些早撒的啊，他们啊，这些就会早成熟。And the way the first plantations or seeds planted bring out the fruit. Gives the idea to the farmer what kind of harvest he is going to have that year. 第一批的种子，啊啊啊，这个成长，然后结果子，让这个农夫能够啊知道啊，这个所啊生长的果子会啊是怎样的果子。The Jewish people normally offer the first fruit. Entirely to the Lord, in thanksgiving to God. So when Apostle Paul, as a preacher, went from city to city, town to town, villages to village in that area called Achaia, the first group of people who heard the gospel included Stephen. Or Stephanus and his family, and they believed. Paul was in Achaia, and he preached to every village or city. He preached to the people of Achaia, and he preached to the people of Achaia. They believed the gospel and accepted the Lord as their Savior and Lord. They not only believed, but they believed and glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only believed, but they glorified God by their lives. They not only When the gospel is preached, it is always to turn people away from sin and misery and hell to righteousness and to heaven. When the gospel is preached, it is always to turn people away from sin and misery and hell to righteousness and to heaven. When the gospel is preached, So 
Jesus died to take away our sins. He came to save us who are sinners. We are not perfect people. It's amazing that a holy God would want to save people who live in sin and wickedness. And also the gospel tells us that when somebody believes in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, God also gives them the Holy Spirit so they can live righteously. Away from sins that once plagued their lives. We know of fake Christians. They pretend to believe. But they continue to live a life that is not transformed. So in this house, there was true evidence of faith. That's why it's called first fruit. The house was dedicated for the glory of God. Their lives. Let's say Mr. and Mrs. Stephanus and the children all followed the words of Christ. Stephan, they made sure they continued to be like Christ whom they trusted on this earth. So after preaching in that city, Paul went away to another place, and he's writing this letter from a faraway place. But there, he heard about Stephanus and family living in faith and obedience to Christ. And he is now writing to the entire church. Now the church in Achaia and particularly Corinth. Corinth is a little uh, city within the large area called Achaia. And he, Paul writes to them and says, Now remember, Stephanus, who first came to believe in Christ in this region, be a first fruit like unto him, like Stephanus and family, be first fruits to the Lord. And then the second reason why Stephanus and his house was commended is that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. In this world, there are many addictions. People are addicted to many things, right? There are those who are addicted to drugs. There are those who are addicted to womanizing. There are those who are addicted to gambling. There are those who are addicted to all kinds of wicked ways. But since the day this family believe in the Lord Jesus, their addiction is to not to all these vices I mentioned, but to the ministry of the saints. Uh, 
The word ministry comes from the Greek word diakonos, which means a deacon or one who serves others. 以服侍圣徒为念，这个服侍就是啊，在教会里啊，为会众啊做服侍的工作。So、their house has become a place for God-loving people, God saints, to come and rest, and they cared for them. 他们的家成为一个啊，能够让信徒来到当中啊，他们也能够在他们当中得到。Uh, 休息、uh, 得到免疫的地方。To all God's people， 所有神的儿女们。Stephanus household always extended their help。史蒂凡一家都愿意伸出援手来帮助所有的人。As the church was growing in number, as more and more people believed, their duty also increased. Because they are taking care of all the saints coming to believe. 当教会人数增长啊，他们的责任也啊，同样啊，更多，因为他们以侍奉啊圣徒为念。And、that means the household of Stephanus needed a lot of strength and energy and resources to care for so many people. And if they have been doing it, then it's very clear God has blessed them. So, according to the verse that you have chosen, there are two reasons why Stephanus. And family was mentioned first. They became first fruits as believers who glorified God. And secondly, they were given to serve God's people with a servant-like spirit. You chose this passage. It's very clear that you can read that the Stephan family was a servant of God, and they were given to serve God's people with a servant-like spirit. But there's one more thing I need to tell you. How you 一件我一件嗯，我需要告诉你的。You see how this verse began. Paul says to the church in Corinth, "I beseech you." So after saying "I beseech you" or "I have something to tell you," he didn't say what he wanted to tell them to do, but he talked about Stephanus. So, what did Paul say? What he wanted the church to do? It's in the next verse. May I include that? Okay. I hope you allow me. Very quick. It says in verse sixteen、uh, that e, in other words, the church in Corinth, submit yourselves unto such, and to every one that helpeth with us and laboreth. 第十六节特别的提到，保罗在此，他劝劝所有的信徒们，就是我劝你们，在此啊，所有在主里啊，如啊史蒂凡一家的啊，都当啊信徒都当这样的顺服。Paul wanted the church to submit to the house of Stephanus. 保罗要教会啊，顺服像史蒂凡一家的人。Because Paul knew Stephanus and his family has no evil intentions, but only good for the benefit of all who trust them and submit to them. 史蒂凡一家对任何人都没有恶意，唯有善意善待一切啊，他们可以接待的人。You see, as you live together as a Christian couple, and when you have no other intention but to glorify God and be gracious and serving to others, you, by the grace of God, is going to climb the ladder in leadership. 当你们夫妻
啊，唯一啊的的施工，就是要荣耀神跟服侍人。您就是走在这个教会啊啊，成为一个啊领袖啊领袖的榜样。As Christians, you must be exemplary. 基督徒当作榜样。In your faith and service. 在您的信心和您的侍奉里。And when you become exemplary. 当您有榜样。You lead others. 您带领其他的人。Because they are going to say, we must be like Yevon and Huasi. 因为他们要学习您的榜样，他们告诉自己，他们要像耶文跟华西。Yeah, they have. Plenty of peace and joy in their hearts. Ah, their hearts will definitely be full of peace and joy. They love the Lord Jesus. They love the Lord Jesus. And their life is a blessing. 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 And I hope, as you grow in age, which nobody can stop, right? You are all going to grow in age. When you grow in age, you will not not only be exemplary. But your home will be a place where others would come and learn from you. Ah, 当你的年纪越来越大啊，您的家啊，在用来侍奉神啊，这个信徒们都喜悦来啊，跟你在一起。But that takes the first two steps: constant faith. And constant service to the Lord's glory. Ah, 这样的做需要做到两件事，就是继续信靠神，继续啊所做的一切都以荣耀神为中心。Well, we are living in a time when marriages break apart very easily. Ah, 我们活在这个现今的时代，婚姻很容易破裂。Last one month. Channel News Asia have been reporting the sad situations of separation and divorce in in Singapore. 在一个月前 ，CNA 新闻报道，在新加坡啊，有许多家庭婚姻破裂，甚至离婚。Majority of marriages end up in divorce in Singapore. Today, ah, this one in Singapore, ah, this one divorced people, because people are very high. People become selfish. Because money starts to be money-minded. They are focused on money and no regard for one another. They are not caring for each other. Fighting all the time. They are always fighting. And do you know who suffers the most? Do you know who suffers the most? Children, 孩子们 children do not know who to choose, dad or mom. 孩子不知道要选父亲或者是母亲 It should never be the case with you. 啊，你们不不当如此 You must remain like the household of Stephanus. 您要像史蒂凡的一家 Your children, 您的孩子们 must say we must follow our parents. And their spouses, God willing, must say we must follow Mr. and Mrs. Tan Evan. Ah, you, 你们的啊，孙子们也要如此的说，他们要效仿你们。It's not wealth. 这不是讲到财富。It's not luxury living. 不是讲到很高贵的。Um, 这个、生活 But a God-loving, happy home. 是一个爱神、一个有喜乐的家庭 You may be living in a small house. 您住在小的房屋 But you can still be blessed with beautiful lives. 啊、uh, ，您的生命啊， uh, 神会祝福啊， uh, 您有一个和美的生命 But it begins with humility before God, and listening to His truth, and obeying. 首先要谦卑，来聆听神的道，遵循神在话语里面啊吩咐你当如何行的事。By the grace of God, in our church, you have many families to pattern after. 啊，因神的恩典，我们教会有许多让你可以
So we pray that you us and many other young adults in our church, Mary, will become the next pattern for the following generation. May the Lord Jesus be praised in your lives. God be with you. Thank you. We shall arise now for the final hymn. O Father, all creating. This song is printed in the brochure, or it will appear on, this, on the wall. The first two stanzas are sung in English, and the last two in Mandarin. bow heads for benediction. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully, with His favor, look upon you, and so fill you with spiritual blessings and grace, that you may so live together happily in this life and enjoy a sense of your duties and joint service to God as husband and wife. And may grace be with them, all that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Congregation, please be seated. We shall now witness the signing 
of marriage register. So the couple will come to the stage and sign the marriage, followed by their witnesses. So here it is. For you. Yes, sure. Okay. okay. So I'm going to introduce you to them. Congregation, please arise. It's my honor and privilege in the Lord Jesus Christ to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Tan Evan. together to welcome Mr. and Mrs. Tan Ye Wen.
Thank you. Please be seated. I will now invite the couple to say a few words. Do you want this? So we would like to say a few words of Thanksgiving as a couple. Uh, first, I will be speaking in English, and then Huasi, who is more capable in the Chinese, will be uh, speaking the Chinese uh, version. So uh, firstly, we would like to thank uh, our parents, firstly my father and my mother, and then uh, Huasi's father and mother for bringing us up. Uh, we have learned many lessons from you, even as you have brought us up which we will be taking into our marriage uh, life. We would also like to thank our families, uh, our sisters, as well as our relatives for being there for us, as well as our friends for supporting us. Thank you for being an integral part of our lives and for shaping us to be who we are. We would like to thank our personalizer and pastor, Pastor Ko Shi, who has been mightily used of, by the Lord to bring us God's counsels, not only regarding married life, but all matters of life. Uh, thank you for answering our many questions in various circumstances and all of them faithfully applying the Word of God. And uh, also, uh, thank you for the message just now, as including uh, some of the things which the Lord has providentially uh, brought you to say. Furthermore, we would like to thank our interpreter, uh, Preacher Daniel. Uh, Hossi has been in the Chinese congregation under you. <laughs> So, and we thank God for the lessons that she and other Chinese brethren have learned through the word, uh, through your faithful ministering of the word. We would like to thank, we would like to thank our wedding coordinators, uh, Deacon Lo and Sister Wei Ling. I can't see them. Oh, okay, um, for their help in guiding us through the process and many matters of the wedding. Thank you for listening to our many requests as well and uh, bearing with the many sudden changes that has occurred throughout the wedding. We are very appreciative of it. Next, we would like to thank our groomsmen, uh, bridesmaid and many helpers who through their selfless contributions, both big and small, have made this entire wedding possible. Even the decorations which you see around, uh, the helpers were hard at work at it last night till quite late. So, we really thank God for your help for all this. And may the Lord bless you and richly replay your labor of love towards us. We would like to thank the church, uh, our church, Gethsemane, for being our spiritual family into which the Lord has brought us. Um, it is uh, impossible to imagine a life without the church, and we pray, even as the message just now providentially was uh, preached, that as individuals and now as a family unit in Christ, we will continue to grow in the Lord and increase in our service to the church. We thank all the guests for being present with us both physically and as well as on the live stream. I don't know where to look. Uh, for the physically present guests, we thank you for making a special effort to be with us here even in these particular circumstances. And for our guests online, we sincerely hope that you, all of you can come and join us in this important moment of our lives. But this present circumstance demands that we need this restriction. Nevertheless, we thank you all, whether you are physically uh, present or online, for your well wishes towards us and for your prayers as well. Last and most importantly, we thank our triumph God, the Father, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, for firstly saving the two of us by the good counsel of his will. That firstly we should come and love him as our saviour and now for bringing us together in holy matrimony by his hand alone. Suffice it to say in summary that if not for his providential hand and if not for his word, we would never have come together in holy matrimony. It is to God's glory alone that we can say that he has been the one who brought us together from the very beginning and all the way to this point, his hand has continued to guide us and sustain us. May he continue to be gracious to the two of us that his word may be fulfilled in us even as he convicted us individually and as a family unit to serve him and love him more. So now I'll pass the time to Huasi and uh, it should be okay, right? <laughs> yeah. 
呃，所以我会为刚才叶文所讲的谢词来做翻译。所以呃，他呃是是这样开始了。首先，我们要感谢我们双方父母的养育之恩，我们见。证了你们生活中的点点滴滴，而从中也吸取了不少教训，以备我们婚后的生活。我们也要感谢我们家人的陪伴，以及我们朋友的支持，特别记起我们的两方都有一个妹妹，也很谢谢你们。对，谢谢你们在我们生活中成为这个无无可或缺的一部分。也因为有你们，我们的呃，我们的生活会不一样。我们也。呃，也因此造建塑造了我们今日的我们。其次，我们也要感谢我们的证婚牧师，他呃，他被上帝重用，我心里学的教导我们上帝的话语。他对我们的付出不限于婚姻辅导，更是在生活上的各个领域、各个呃领域上都给予了指引。在感谢你面对我们的百思不解，总是不厌其烦。衷心的按照神的话语来教导引导我们。此外，我也要感谢我们的翻译员林传道。我本身就在您呃侍奉的华文部里成长，感谢主，你在华文部中衷心的侍奉，使我们在华文部里的弟兄姐妹们都得到属灵的喂养，得以往下扎根、往上发芽，并呃枝叶茂盛。我们也不忘感谢我们的婚礼。协调员、文祥执事和呃慧玲姐姐妹，他们在我们的婚礼筹备各方面都给予了很大的帮助。他们细心聆听我们所有的要求，也包容我们一切的临时变动，真是万分感谢。另外，我们也要感谢我们的伴郎、伴娘，以及在我们婚礼上，呃，大小事都有贡献的各位。没有你们的无私贡献，恐怕我们今天的婚礼也无法这么顺利的进行。我们也特别想呃感谢这些为我们忙得焦头烂额却没有抱怨的弟兄姐妹们。愿主丰丰富富的赐福你们每一位的爱心奉献。我也要感谢神所赐给我们在教会中的属灵大家庭。我们夫妻俩很难想象没有你们的日子。我们也求主帮我们。呃，在个人与如今新建的家庭里，可以在侍奉里更得力，在主里成长。我们也想感谢在场以及在直播见证我们婚礼的嘉宾们。在场的嘉宾，我们要感谢你们千里迢迢的来到这里。我们呃是非常，呃，在这非常时期还乐意来到我们这里来参加我们这这婚礼。我们也想呃希呃，我们也衷心的希望，希每个人都能来到当中。但呃，由于现在这是一个非常时期，所以呃，真的是不尽人意。如今的情况约束了我们，所以虽然有遗憾，但我仍要感谢你们各位在场的，在网络上的，也感谢你们给我们的祝福与祷告。最后，我们尤其感谢我们的三一真神、圣父、圣子、圣灵。按照神良善法则的旨意，拯救了我们，是是我们得以先爱，先爱慕他，并且得以结为夫妇。总的来说，若非神的圣手带领，与他的话语的引领，我们绝不可能在一起。凭着神他自己的荣耀，他把我们带到一块，从此至今，他不住的带领，还有扶持我们。所以愿他继续的恩待我们，他的话语继续的充满我们，正如他从前怎样坚定的、坚定我们各自侍奉他的心智，往后也使我们更懂得如何齐心的来侍奉他。谢谢。Thank you. Thank you. The end of this morning's wedding ceremony. Thank you for taking time to celebrate this joyous occasion. With Hua、uh, Yewen and Hua Si, to the friends who are watching the wedding via YouTube live stream, we will not be broadcasting the photo taking. Please sit back and enjoy a video montage of the couple. After which, the live stream will end. Thank you. To the guests here,、uh, we will commence with the photo taking session shortly. We seek your fullest cooperation in abiding by the following instructions, so as to keep the safe management measures. 
As you entered the century, the Chinese would have given you a...